Thanks for tuning in to the Finance News Network. Today I'm joined by Cresso Farmer Chief Operating Officer John Grease. Hi John and thanks for joining us from Southern California and welcome to FNN. Hi Jessica, it's great to be here. Firstly John, can you just walk us through the business? Cresso Pharma is a uh, Australian company that has a base of operations in, uh, in Switzerland. Uh, we produce a number of different products for humans and animals. Um, our core product is called Canaquix, it's a nutraceutical, and our animal product is called Anabidol, and that's a, uh, a food complementary feed that uh, is provided to your pets. Our CEO and founder is a doctor and a scientist, and she surrounded herself with a number of, of highly technical advisors. And our aim is to produce pharma grade cannabis based products. And can you tell us a little bit more about each of the categories, therapeutics, nutraceuticals, animal health and topicals? So therapeutics um, are really products that need to be delivered with the assistance of a, of a physician. Typical therapies don't always treat typical ailments and cannabinoid based therapies can somewhere sometimes help when other um, strategies don't work. Um, our Canaquix 50 is a therapeutic product that will be distributed in New Zealand uh, by the end of this year. Um, our nutraceuticals are uh, more, for more casual use and are considered over-the-counter products. They're often used to treat stress and pain. Um, our Canaquix uh, 10 is, um, is, is a product that's used for that purpose. Um, and it's considered a food supplement, so it doesn't necessarily need to go through all the regulatory requirements of a medicinal product. Our animal product, Anabidol, is similar to Arcanaquix, but designed specifically for animals, and it helps treat stress and anxiety in animals, and, uh, uh, and also um, pain and discomfort for aging animals. And finally, our, um, uh, our lifestyle products are um, more for the sheer enjoyment. So we have uh, beverages and chocolates that uh, that are being introduced to the market today as well. So Cresso Pharma isn't a cannabis company? You know, Jessica, we're primarily a CBD company derived from hemp, but we do have cannabis cultivation operations in Canada, Colombia, and Israel. We're a vertically integrated business with a very uh, seamless supply chain. Uh, eventually, these cultivation operations will be providing raw ingredients for both CBD and THC infused products in our portfolio. Now to your portfolio, John. Any new products on the horizon? Yeah, we've got a lot of activity going on. I, I assume you've heard of uh, the, in the news about a lot of the acquisitions that have been taking place between alcoholic beverage companies and cannabis companies. Constellation Brands made a big acquisition in Canada. Molson Coors made a big acquisition. Well, Cresso Pharma is actually ahead of the curve. We, uh, we are in a joint venture with a company called CLV Frontier Brands, and we have a, peer, a beer coming to market in October, and it'll be kicked off at the, uh, the London Boutique Bar Show. Um, so we're really excited about our terpene-infused beer. That beer uh, branding is called OBMJ, Old Boy Mar Mary Jane, and, uh, and it's a phenomenal product. Uh, we're also introducing a fine Swiss chocolate that's also infused with terpenes. Um, and that's with a partnership with uh, Felchlin in uh, Felchlin Chocolatiers in Switzerland. Our state-of-the-art uh, cultivation facility in Nova Scotia will be introducing their brand of dried flour called Ritual Green in January of this upcoming year. And we have a number of other innovations in the pipeline that I can't talk about right now, but uh, it furthers our, uh, our mission uh, towards being an, ed an edible uh, cannabis product leader. Wow, that sounds very exciting. Now, how are these products all getting to the market? Crystal Pharma has some incredible distribution partners. We are, we're doing business today with a company called Veerback, one of the largest veterinary supply companies in the world. Um, they currently distribute our Anabidol uh, pet uh, product uh, throughout Switzerland. And we expect our relationship with uh, Veerback to continue and to grow and see distribution in other countries throughout Europe. We just signed an agreement with Pharmacare in the UK. Um, Pharmacare is a large uh, health products distributor. 
they're going to distribute our products in the UK and uh, we're hoping to, to access uh, the rest of their global network um, over time as well. Now to your finances, John, and the share price. How is the business tracking? Jessica, we, we think we're positioned extremely well right now. Uh, we get exposed to a lot of pure cannabis companies out there, and we think we have a leg up. Uh, Cresso Pharma has products in distribution today. We're generating revenue. We're in a number of countries around the globe. We have assets in Colombia, in Canada, that uh, are debt free. So we really feel strongly that uh, Crestle Farm is a great value. John Grease, thank you so much for the update and for joining us from Southern California. Thank you very much, Jessica. Thanks for having me.